Hi everyone and welcome to Creative Chelsea. If you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up or commenting below. If you want to see more of my videos, press the subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications. If you need any Stampin' Up! products to make this card, you can visit my online store and the link is in the description box below. When you purchase Stampin' Up! products through me, you can earn free products. Check out my current customer appreciation products on my blog and the link is listed below in the description. Today I'd like to share with you those customer appreciation products for November 2021. I'd also like to share with you this quick and simple card using those products. So let's first talk about those customer appreciation products and how you can receive them. So when you order through my online store and your merchandise total hits certain levels, you can receive different thank you gifts from me. The first level is a $50 level and you're going to receive these fun holiday rhinestone basic jewels. They come in five different colors and three different sizes. So the next level is a $100 order, and this is the merchandise total. And when you hit that level, you're going to receive the Whisper White Seam Binding Ribbon. And this is just a really versatile ribbon. Um, I love that it is nice and soft and flexible. It makes some beautiful bows. As well, it's really easy to color using the Stampin' Up! Blend markers. And I will link a video up here in the top right corner showing you how you can do that with the seam binding ribbon. You are also going to receive the holiday rhinestone basic jewels at that hundred dollar order as well. The next level is the hundred and fifty dollar order. Now when you order below a hundred and fifty dollars please use the host code that I've provided as well below in the description box so that you can receive these gifts. At $150 though, you can be your own host and get free products from Stampin' Up! that you get to choose. So on top of getting those host benefits from Stampin' Up!, you're also going to receive these products from me when your order hits $150 or more. And the stamp set that I'm giving this month is the Garden Bird Houses stamp set. And this is just a really fun one that's gonna help you make lots of different cards as we move into the new year. And you're going to need those birthday and thank you cards and congratulation cards. And so it's just got a really fun, kind of all season type of feeling. So you can really use it all year long. You're also going to receive the ribbon and the jewels as well at that $150 order. All right, so let's go ahead and see how we can use these products together to create this beautiful and simple card. So let's begin by first talking about the pieces that I'm using for our card. And I've got Smoky Slate as my card base and my card front. I also have some fun colors that coordinate and you could use any coordinating colors here. If you're gonna make something for fall or spring or summer, this is a great place to change up those colors that's going to um, coordinate with that season that you're creating the card in. So I've got Pool Party as a little tiny strip, then I have Pear Pizzazz and Basic White, and these two pieces are the same size. Now you'll notice that each piece here has a cute stitching along the outside edge, and I've used the rectangle stitched dies to do that. And it's just a really great die set that gives you lots of different shapes that you can use together to create some fun cards. So let's go ahead and begin with our stamping. I just wanted to give you a close up of the card so that you can see the different layers that, of stamping that we have on this card. We've got some background layers in both the smoky slate and the pear pizzazz using the leaf image from the stamp set. And then we're using the floral image on the pool party strip. So let's go ahead and begin with that. So in Smoky Slate, just go ahead and ink up that leaf image. And you're just going to create a diagonal feeling on this card front. And it's okay if they cross here in the center because you're going to um, cover that up with that pear pizzazz cardstock. So it's going to look something like this. 
Then you're going to want to clean your stamp and move to the Pear Pizzazz ink and the Pear Pizzazz cardstock. Here we're just really inking up the top part of that leaf and you're just going to cover the cardstock in that image. It doesn't have to go any particular way. You just want to fill the, the piece of cardstock. Next, we're gonna work on the pool party and you just need to ink up the top of the flowers and stamp these going across that strip. You do want to get some different heights to that piece as well so that you can see all the fun flowers and leaves in that image. So next we're going to stamp our main focal point images. We have one birdhouse and there are three different birdhouses you can choose from and they all give a really fun look to your card. We're also going to choose a sentiment and then one of the birds and there are three birds as well. So this just gives you some lots of fun options when creating your cards. And this would be fun to create like a set of cards for, maybe a gift to someone. You could do a different birdhouse and a different greeting for each card. So I'm using Memento Black ink and I'm just going to ink up my birdhouse and stamp that in the center of my rectangle strip. And then you have two choices when working with this stamp set. You can either hang it with a string or add it to a post. And I really love that it gives you those options and you can choose to um, create this image however you want. So I decided to hang it. So I've added the string. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp my greeting and bird as well onto some scratch paper. So I have hello, and this is just gonna get fussy cut out as well as the bird. So another fun thing about this stamp set is that you get to do some coloring. And Stampin' Up! offers a lot of coloring options from pastels to watercolor pencils to regular markers and to the Stampin' Up! blend markers, which are an alcohol-based marker. And I really love coloring with these, and so that's what I chose to color with. I'm starting with Pool Party, and I have a light color here. And they come in a combo pack of both a light and a dark of their Stampin' Up! colors. And so you can get some really fun blended images when you use both colors together. So once I've added the light pool party, I can go back and add some shadows with the dark. So something like this. And then for the top and bottom, I'm using Smoky Slate. And then go in with the dark and just add some shadow and details. just like that. And then we're gonna do the same with our bird. And I wanted a nice bright yellow. So I'm pulling in the Mango Melody and I wanna just do the light color here for the whole bird. And then I'm gonna take the light Smoky Slate and just add a little bit of shadow to the wing and underneath the body. So next I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut these images out and I will be right back. All right, so now we're ready to put our card together. So you're going to begin with your card base of Smoky Slate. 
and you can add your smoky slate card front with some dimensionals to the front of your card base. And there'll be just a nice border around that if you decided to use the stitched rectangle dies. Then we're going to add our pear pizzazz green just with some regular adhesive right over that center area where you have the overlapping image. Next, you're going to take your pool party and you're going to cut this strip in half because we want it to be a little longer than it originally is. So you're going to take one side and place it and have it just come off a little bit. Then you'll take your next one and do the same on the left side. So you're looking for it to be about the same length on each side and then hitting the same level horizontally. So that when you add your birdhouse over it, it looks like one complete piece. So then the birdhouse is added with dimensionals. And you just want to add it right to the center. Just like that. Then we're going to take the seam binding ribbon and I'm going to cut 10 inches and tie a bow. And you'll see how easy it is to tie this beautiful bow with this nice ribbon. So you'll get something like that. And then you can trim any ends to an angle. And then we're going to add this to our card with the glue dot. And I'm just going to place it right here in the corner below the pear pizzazz and next to the basic white piece. Just like that. And then my greeting is going to get placed over that with some dimensionals on the back. And what I like to do is cut some thin strips from the edge and I can add that to my greeting. Just like that. And then that's going to go over my ribbon, just holding the ribbon down where I want it. And then my little bird will also get added with a dimensional and I can cut one of my regular sizes in half and that should be the perfect size for behind the bird. And then I'm going to place it so that it looks like it's standing on the hello. So just like that. And then just to add a little extra bling to the card, we're going to add some of these fun holiday rhinestones. And even though they say holiday, you really could use them for so many different projects. I liked how the blue coordinate well with my card, the light blue. And so I'm going to go ahead and use a couple of these, maybe a large one down there and a medium and small one up at the top. Just like that. And our card is all done. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me create this fun card using the November 2021 Customer Appreciation Products. If you're interested in getting more information on how you can get these products for free, please visit my blog and the link is listed below in the description. If you're interested in getting written instructions or seeing close-up images of this card, you can also visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.